Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. Be the difference in someone's life today. Phone 1800 257 296 or visit catholicmission.org.au. Name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I welcome you to our Mass on the 31st Sunday of the Ordinary Time. Wherever you are at home, please feel that you are part of this Mass and we welcome you in the name of the Lord who calls us in his love for us. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If you fear the Lord, your God, all the days of your life, and if you keep all his laws and commandments, which I lay on you, you will have a long life, you and your son and your grandson. Listen then, Israel. Keep and observe what will make you prosper and give you great increase as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you, giving you a land where milk and honey flow. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Let these words I urge on you today be written on your heart. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Where I take refuge, 
my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is worthy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. There used to be a great number of priests under the former covenant, because death put an end to each one of them but this one. Christ, because he remains forever, can never lose his priesthood. It follows then that his power to save is utterly certain, since he is living forever to intercede for all who come to God through him. To suit us, the ideal high priest would have to be holy, innocent and uncontaminated beyond the influence of sinners and raised up above the heavens. One who would not need to offer sacrifices every day as the other high priests do for their own sins and then for those of the people. Because he has done this once and for all, by offering himself. The law appoints high priests who are men subject to weakness, but the promise on oath, which came after the law, appointed the Son who is made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel. The Lord our God is the one Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind with all your strength. The second is this, you must love your neighbour as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well spoken, master, what you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other, to love with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbour as yourself. This is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him any more. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today in our Gospel of St. Mark, We have the the great question for each of us. Is the Lord our God in the centre of our lives? It's the questioning the first commandment. And as we know, there are many uh, commandments and many laws in, in in the law of Moses, more than 300. 
But in some ways, today's gospel, Jesus is putting these two above the rest, above them all. And indeed, they are the essence and the heart of, of our gospel, of our Christian life. These words for each of us remind us of the first commandment, love your God. Then Jesus takes us into a different place. He takes us into loving of neighbour. We love our neighbour because God loves us. We love our neighbour, our friends, because they are precious in the eyes of God himself. There's a beautiful saying, I sought my soul, but my soul I could not see. I sought my God, but my God eluded me. I sought my brother, and I found all three. In loving our brother or our sister, we ultimately can love God. We ultimately are called into his kingdom because Jesus showed his love for each of us. No, no distinctions made when he died on the cross, when he gave his life for all, when his love was projected for all eternity on that cross, in that death, and ultimately in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, that wonderful saint, so close to the hearts of many. I was fortunate enough being in Melbourne for the great Eucharistic Congress. I think it was 1972. I met her there and she, very tiny in statue, under five foot, she spoke to the great uh, crowd that was there at the Maya Music Bowl in Melbourne. 100,000 people at least were there. And when she spoke, she spoke very quietly, very beautifully. You could have heard a pin drop because what she said was from her heart and what the gospel says to us today is from the heart of Jesus, to love your neighbour as yourself, to love God first. St. Mother Therese loved God first, and then she was called to love her neighbour in the streets of Calcutta, picking up those who were dying. And of course, the rest is history. Tens of thousands of sisters and brothers have followed her in this mission to love their, their neighbour. So let us, in our Mass today, Pray that God will enrich us with his love so we can love our brother and our sister as Jesus Christ has taught us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. God is our strength and our help. With confidence then, let us turn to him with all our needs that those who exercise ministry in the church will be strengthened by God, our fortress and our rock. In your love. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may give us the grace to show kindness in caring for one another while challenged by COVID-19. In your love. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have gone before us will enjoy God's loving presence in your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we acknowledge our dependence on you. Hear our prayers that we may devote ourselves to serving you and living out your commandments of love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. of Israel, Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as a mediator, and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads to us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us 
and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love. We may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the bishops, with priests and deacons, and your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation, and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Mary MacKillop of the Cross, with St. John Vianney, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say the prayer that unites all Christian people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who loves us, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity, may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Hi, I'm Brian Mascord. I invite you to consider if you are able to, to provide financial assistance to help extend the 50 year legacy of Mass for You at Home.